This is a Visio 2010 Network Rack Diagram Tutorial Part 2, Modifying Equipment Shape Graphic. In this video, we'll be demonstrating uh, one method of doing that. There are others. Uh, first thing we'll do here is go to Move Sheet, and we're going to get some shapes. Let me um, run down a few sample shapes here. Let's start out with uh, a rack. And then also uh, Covers. And uh, one more for right now. And uh, at this point, I'm going to uh, put a rack in the diagram. I like that one. I'm just going to bring a cover into here. It's a blind cover. So it fits into the rack. And then uh, I'm going to bring in a switch. Which is something that I might use. And oops, looks like that doesn't fit quite as well. So uh, now, if you get your shapes from NetZone, they'll all be uh, set up, they'll all fit, you won't have this problem, but if you're uh, digging them up somewhere on the internet, as we did in the previous video, um, you may have to modify them a bit. So one way to do this, uh, you want to take this switch and have it uh, fit into the rack like a regular 1U device. First thing I'm going to do is select this switch, and I'm going to copy it. Control C. And then I'm going to uh, open this blank cover, and I'm going to modify the shape a little bit. Uh, I'm going to ungroup it, and this is something you can do inside the editor that you uh, wouldn't be able to do with a um, shape from a stencil without breaking links to it. And now that I've got it open, I'm going to just remove the Levin logo from this. And then I'm going to uh, paste with Control V that uh, shape that I copied. And the scale is way off, so I'm going to have to adjust things here a little bit. See that uh, there's a bit of a scale difference between these. And I'm going to just um, take that shape and uh, get the fit here on this blank cover. And just to make things look a little better, I'm going to select that um, blank cover that I had and adjust it a little bit. And it looks uh, pretty close to what I want. So now I can just close this uh, editing. And we've brought this uh, scaled switch back into the dry. I'm just going to delete this right now and um, we have here a perfectly good shape you can see how it locks into the rack also um, the original data fields uh, are present let's see the shape data and of course it's the wrong shape data we're going to fix that 
in a subsequent video. So this is um, a, one way of modifying a shape using the uh, shape editing feature, making modifications to, uh, to adjust. You can do other uh, edits to the equipment uh, in that same way. In the next video, we'll be um, looking at modifying and adding data fields to the shapes. Uh, for further information, visit uh, drinfrastructure.com.